Hi there, this is Adam with X-Laser here to give you a quick overview of patching the Mercury Laser Control System on Grand MA. So I'm going to come into Setup, Patch, and create a layer, la layer called Lasers. Inside of our layer here, I'm going to go ahead and for our USB drive, see that I have a Master, a Basic Builder, and Advanced Builder. We're going to go ahead and patch the master. The master is where we do our basic overall zoning. So we're going to go ahead and patch one of those. So the master controls our overall size, position, offset, intensity, that kind of thing. But it doesn't allow us to really create the content. That's really more for the builder. The master allows us to restrict that content. We're going to go ahead and patch the basic builder. You can patch between one and six basic builders. In this particular case, I'm only going to patch the one. Go ahead and save our patch. So now you see that I have the master, the basic builder 2.1, basic builder 2.2. The basic builder 2.1, you'll see carries all of the features of the Mercury laser control system. You'll see carries all the features of the Mercury control system, except for RGB2. We have RGB1 on Mercury Basic 1, RGB2 on Mercury Basic 1.2. In this case, it's 2.1 and 2.2. So in the master, I'm going to come in here. And I have in Mercury some fixture modes. I'm going to select Builders Enabled. Our three different options are fixture disabled, external input, which is if you're using like an ILDA input or an FP4 input, and builders enabled. I'm going to select builders enabled. You also have the ability to go ahead and set your intensity here. Now one thing you'll notice is I'm going to go ahead and put an intensity of 100 here, but we get no output. The reason why is because this is a limit. Everything you set up in the master is a limit for the builders. So if I set this at 50% and then I set the intensity for the basic builder at 100%, our total overall intensity is only going to be at 50% because the master is going to limit that. I'm also going to go ahead and set our focus at 10% here in order to stay safe. Usually you want your Y zoom in order to be smaller than your X zoom, at least when you're doing your initial zoning. We're going to leave our position at 50-50, which is dead center on pan tilt. So now that we have that going on, we can go ahead and using the basic builder, we can bring up a gobo for us to do our zoning with. So in the Mercury menu, image, you see that I have a page and a pattern. The page I'm going to select for this, unoptimized test patterns, and the pattern I'm going to select for this is going to be our zone outline. From here, I can go ahead and begin setting our dimmer. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one at 20%. And now that we've got our dimmer at 20%, you can see that we have our zone outline there. Inside the master, we can go ahead and adjust our pan, tilt, and focus. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and change our Y zoom to 75%. And I can see that it's a little too wide. We'll go ahead and go with 80% there. Now I also see that it's a little bit off center of our scrim here. So I can go ahead and move that using our positional control. And there we go. I've got it exactly where I want. So I don't want anyone to be able to modify the master here. Very simple. All I need to do now that I've got everything set in the master is I'm just going to type park fixture and in this case it's just fixture one. Now you can see that we have parked values on the output layers. So if I go ahead and set our dimmer here to zero on the master, you can see that there is no change in output. If I go to the output layers, we're still at 100%, even though our value layer is at zero. That's how you keep anything from going outside of that master zone that you've then set up. In the next video, we're going to show you what the basic builder is with a quick overview of all of its features. Thanks.